Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Part 15, in this one we're gonna start working on making like a queue screen, so where the user is gonna be able to see uh, like <laughs> finally the track you have in the queue, etc. So you're gonna see, we uh, for today that's gonna be more like the design stuff and talking about that, and for the other day that's gonna be about like working better with the queue because you're gonna see we have a lot of issue right now with the way we've deal with that and yeah but for now before we go further i just want to fix something so example if you start if you start a, a podcast example i'm gonna start uh, this one in this episode of full stack radio just here. put the sound a bit uh, lower if you move this thing really really quick like that and you play with that you're gonna make the app crash because what is happening if you open your progress slider component we do the go to stuff on value change but the thing is <coughs> sorry the value change can change from the user when it's dragging etc so you see callback continuously call while the while the user is dragging the slider so what that means it's every time the user is dragging that get getting called so example if we remove it and we console log the value look at how many events we're gonna get so i'm gonna search i'm gonna start an episode and now if you look at your log it's crazy crazy how many items you have but at least now it's not really crashing because the thing is we don't we do not seek to the, uh, the with the value. But what you can do to fix that is if you look at the docs, but we, you don't need in this case. It's looking at on sliding complete. So the on sliding complete it's a callback call when the user finished changing the value when the slider is released. So I'm gonna save that and now look at the value. Okay, when the value is gonna change. I'm moving right now. Nothing is happening. But if if I'm uh, removing my finger from this thing, now I'm getting the value. So you see, this is what you want. Because the, the thing is, the user can uh, move and move and move and move. And the thing is, wait until he has finished. It's almost like if you build like, I don't know, like an input surge and stuff like that in, Rea uh, in React, whatever. You're going to want to have some kind of debugs where when the user is going to stop typing. Thing about that is almost the same. You don't want to search the backend and do a query for each input. If the user is typing really quick, wait until he has to take like a pause of 30 seconds. Uh, not 30 seconds, but 300 milliseconds, something like that. So now if we change back to the value here and now I'm moving and I'm uh, removing my finger, you see it's changing and that's it. And you don't gonna get any more crash just remove the logs perfect after that what i want to do is i, I, I didn't show you the design it's really simple we want to create this screen who's gonna pop from a button we're gonna have here at the top right this screen is gonna be the up next and stuff like that maybe later i say maybe because i don't know where i want to go with this uh, series we're gonna have maybe a drag list here where you can say like which one is gonna be the next one if you want to know the idea of the design, I mean, it's not the, the same, but I use Pocket Cast and this is like how they do it. So I really like it. Really awesome app. So, so the way we're going to work, it's first thing we're going to jump in the uh, player screen and you see here, here is the button we have right there. So now we want the same button. Uh, oh, is this? Okay. We want this button like that. We, you, we're going to copy paste the button. And we're gonna change the name to be list. If you save, this is the button we're gonna want to, for the queue. After that, the hit slot, you can keep it. And also, I'm gonna just show you something. Uh, if you go to, like, example, constants, one thing I like to do is I call maybe a, a file called matrix. And in this file, you can have some methods, okay? And one of them can be make it slot. And this thing's gonna take a size as a number. And his job is going to be to return top size, right size, left 
size and button size okay like that so now what happened it's when you want to have this it slope you just call make it slope slope and you do this thing like that and this is the same exact stuff you just it's a bit thinner now for the icon list we want the navigation to be that's going to be a screen we're going to create navigation that navigate and we're going to call the screen q after that we want this button to be here so the way you can deal with that it's because by default the flex direction is column so we want the flex direction to be row if we do this now it's left and right but also we want to make sure then they are always center if we do this nothing's gonna really change but now if we say justify contain space between so we ask we ask uh, to go um, further like a space between mean like uh, you want to take the more space you have between you now if you push that they're gonna go to the extremity like that that's perfect after that inside our component folder we're gonna create a new directory called Q we're gonna create a new file called qscreen.tsx. Uh, Q We're gonna just do the basic baller play really quick. So Q screen equal function. For now, we're gonna have the safe area view with a box. I'm gonna import the, oops, I'm gonna, oops, sorry. I'm gonna import the box. Here, I'm gonna create a style sheet for the safe area we want the flex area to be flex one background color to be equal to our theme color white and finally we're going to export the folder Q screen like that and now if you go to your main stack navigator we're going to copy the player here and we're going to make it as a Q so this way that's going to be a model on top of everything so now if I click on that we get this screen right there and why it's not white it's because the safe area i didn't put the style so for this it's perfect now what we want to do is do just some basic design to achieve the screen so here we're gonna have a box uh, i mean we can do this right there and inside this box what i want to have it's a text so this is the way I like to do uh, when I design. It's you put your element first and after that you design it. So done and up next, okay? So we get to this point. First thing, we want some padding uh, left and right. After that, we want to make sure then the direction here is row. We want to make sure they are center. And here, we're gonna say justify between also. And now we're gonna get this issue. Uh, and they shoot because there are two elements, okay, like that. But what we can do to fix that, it's if we put another uh, third one, now they're gonna go almost like what we want. They are not centered yet. What you can do for that, it's wrapping those in a box for each with a flex one. So this way, each element gonna take the same amount of space. So we're gonna have three box, if that can help you BG, BG ran and finally the rest is white you see they take all of them take the space they want so that for the uh, one in the center we want it to be center finally to be a center from the left and right now it's looking pretty good this is what we want after that what we want also it's the up next, we want the text to be bold. And we want the button done to close the model. So first thing, we're gonna import the navigation from the hook, use navigation. And now we're gonna wrap this button here with a touchable opacity. I know you can have done that right from the text, but I mean, and now here that's gonna be navigation go back. And for the it slope, uh, make it slope 20. So now if I click here, I'm supposed to close it and now I can go back, perfect. 
Now after that, what we want to do is to create the list. For this video or whatever, I don't know yet where we're gonna go, we're gonna just use a scroll view, use a flat list if you want. We have used flat list before, you're gonna know how to do this. I just think it's gonna be quicker to go with that scroll view. So right here at the bottom of this kind of headers, we're gonna have a scroll view right there. Inside that, we're going to put a box. The box is going to have a height of 90. And inside the box, we're going to create our place where we're going to add the artwork. So we want a height of 70, width of 70. We want a radius of 10 and a BG of blue. Well, now you see, this is our element. First thing, we want the same padding as the others. After that, we would like the scroll view to be a bit uh, at the bottom of this other because right now they're touching each other. So margin bottom, and I'm gonna say large because I want a good amount of space. After that here, we want to get another box where here we're gonna have a text and here that's gonna be the title. And we're gonna have another text where here that's gonna be the artist name. And now you see, Again, same situation in React Native. By default, the flex direction it's colon. So if you want to get the text and stuff like that to the left and right, you put the flex direction to be row. After that, I would like this kind of place where we're gonna put the uh, artist um, uh, artist uh, thumbnail, whatever. We want some margin right ten to get some space. And after that, we want the title here to be bold, and we want the artist name to be size small. And also to have a color of gray to be a, to have some kind of contrast. So it's looking pretty good. What you can do to just test that, it's having another one. And you see, because of the height is 90 and everything, it's kind of like in the 70. We have already by default our margin, so it's pretty good. So now, how can we get uh, the Q? You know, it's pretty simple, okay? First thing it's we're gonna do this right from the screen and maybe we're gonna move it later, okay? So we're gonna start by creating a queue and a set queue from a React queue state. The React queue state here can be a type of React track player track as an array and we're gonna start with an empty array, okay? After that, how can we get the, the, the queue? So we're gonna create a function called get queue. It was gonna be an async function. And its job is gonna be about getting the queue. I'm gonna say queue like that just because it's the same name as this thing. Oh, I can have called that tracks if you want. And that's gonna be from an await function from Aaron track player and the function is get queue. This thing gonna return us a promises of Aaron track player track. So this is the type of what we want here. So now I can do set queue and put it that to the track. But when are you when are we gonna call this function? So I want to you uh, to call this function only when we're gonna focus the screen. So I'm gonna say use focus effect, and this effect it's coming already by React Navigation Native, so it's right there. And in their doc they say to use a use callback. Where here I can call get Q finally, and this thing take an array of depths. And I think I need to do like that. Perfect. So now I'm gonna console log those track to see if we get something. And now you see, because at the beginning of the episode I, I click on the Adam Warren episode, now I have this in, already in my queue. So we can already start moving that to the scroll view. So going to the scroll view, we're gonna do queue that map. We want to have a track, and we're gonna put our box for the key. That's gonna be track that ID, and for the title, that's gonna be track that title. So now, if I save, you see I'm getting there. For the artist, that's gonna be track that artist. So Adam Wadam. 
I don't like the text to be like that because we, what we're missing is the box need to have a flex of one. So now they know like take the full amount of space keep, but don't go further. And we want this text to only have one line like that. I think it's a bit better. Now you see, we get the track and also I think, I'm not quite sure, but I think I can get the uh, uh, artist, one sec, URI, track, that uh, artwork. I think we can do, if we have a artwork, we want that. And now if I do this, we don't gonna see nothing. It's because this is an image from the web. So you need to have a style. So we want to have a height of 70, width of 70, and a border radius of 10. And now it's working like that. Another one you can have done is just putting flex one and putting the box overflow hidden. So the corner is gonna be rounded, but it's okay for our case. And now you see that's going to be some stuff we're going to fix. It's example if I click to another episode and I play it and I go back to my queue, we have only this episode. So that's the thing we're going to fix in the next episode. And the issue is because when we click on play, we kind of reset the track player and you see what happened? It's we reset the track player. So what happened is the queue it's never had so that's gonna be something we gonna fix in the next one so i hope you enjoy again the code's gonna be in github uh, part 15 the branch and yeah let me know in the comments if you have any kind of question and i hope you enjoy your day bye everyone